Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on multiple choice questions answer explanation. In this video, I will explain the questions from immunology. Now look at the question. The first question is the correct statement about innate immunity is option 1 rapid response within hours, option 2 non-specific, option 3 no immunological memory, option 4 all of the above. Now let us understand about innate immunity. We have two branches of immunity are there. Innate immunity, acquired or adaptive immunity. Innate immunity is the immunity what we get right from our birth. From the mother we get certain amount of immunity that is called as innate, inborn immunity. Adaptive or acquired immunity we develop immunity when we grow up. That is what is called as adaptive or acquired immunity. Now the question is about innate immunity. Innate immunity uh, the response is immediate. If you get bacterial or viral infection, immediately white blood cells, everything will get activated and reacts with it. So innate immunity response is imme immediate. Whereas adaptive or acquired immunity, it is because of B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes, it will take some time to show the response. So option A is correct. Now option B, non-specific. True, for innate immunity, the response is non-specific. Whether you have a bacteria, virus or any organism, non-specifically it go and attacks. But acquired immunity is not like that. It is highly specific. In the case of B lymphocytes, B lymphocytes releases antibodies which are very specific to a particular pathogen. So non-specific is also correct for innate immunity. Now third option is no immunological memory. It is true. That means if you get an infection, a particular organism causes an infection to you. Next time, even if, if the same organism attacks, the innate immunity response, it, it doesn't have any memory. It, it shows the same reaction. Whereas acquired or adaptive immunity, once you get a particular infection, the immunity remembers the organism, memory cells. So when next time, if, if you get the same infection, the full blown immunity will show and attach that organism. So that is called as memory. So third option is also correct for innate immunity. So related to innate immunity, all the three are correct. Hence the answer should be all of the above. Now, now the next question is, see, neutrophils, macrophages and then NK cells, natural killer cells are, will cause dash kind of barrier. Now understand this one. The question is neutrophils, mass cells and NK cells. NK cells means the natural killer cells are the example, example of dash barrier. Now see when you read about immunity, we read about particular barriers called as physical barrier, physiological bar barrier, cellular barrier kind of things. Now the same options are given. Option A is physical barrier, option B is physiological barrier, option C is cellular barrier, option 4 cytokine. Now let us understand this thing. See the first line of defense for immunity for us is skin and mucous membranes. See any organism will not infect you until unless your skin is intact. If you have wound or injury when the skin abrades then there is a chance for in infection. So the infection will not affect you when there is this physical barrier is there. So skin is considered, skin and mucous membranes are considered as physical barriers. So the question is about mass cells, NK cells and neutrophils. No, that is not physical one. Second one is physiological barrier. Physiological barrier means we have saliva, lacrimal glands, lac uh, tears, sweat. All of them contains particular enzymes like lysozyme. They protect us from infection. So they are called as physiological barriers. So this is not the answer. Now third one, cellular barrier. Now mast cell, neutrophils, white blood cells, NK natural killer cells, all the cells which will give us immunity. So it is considered as cellular immunity. So option C is the right answer. Now the next one, next question, immunoglobulin present in APO blood type is. Now understand this one. See our blood cells, RBC has got antigens, whereas plasma has got antibodies. So when incompatible blood is transfused, agglutination reaction occurs between the antigen present on the red blood cell and the donor plasma antibody, agglutination occurs. So the question is about that, what kind of antibody you see in blood plasma? Options given are IgG, IgA, IgM, IgE. See IgG is the antibody which we all get from mothers. From mother, the IgG from placenta it crosses and get into the get into the uh, fetus and we get it from the mother. Now IgA is also we get it from the mother but it is through breast milk. Now IgM is there in the blood plasma. So the question is about this one immunoglobulin present in ABO blood type is IgM. IgE is immediately responses in allergic, re allergic reactions. 
So these are about uh, uh, immunoglobulins. See again, uh, when you see IgM is a pentameric immuno antibody. So it is the largest one. It has got five subunits are there. Whereas IgA is a dimer, remaining all are monomers. So this is about antibodies. Now let us see the next question. Erythroblastosis fetalis is which causes which type of hypersensitivity? Type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. Now let us understand the question. Erythroblastosis fetalis means, see when there is an incompatibility in rhesus factor, mothers with RS negative, if they have baby inside with RH positive, first delivery will be fine. Because positive negative difference is there during delivery, mother body develops anti RH positive antibodies. Second time also, if she carries RH positive kid, the antibodies which are present in mother blood will attack the baby, causes um, death also. This is called as erythroblastosis fetalis. And this comes under a type of hypersensitivity. Look at them. See, type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, there is a mnemonic is there. Type 1 is called as A. Allergy induced, anaphylactic. Type 2 is called as C, cytotoxic. Type 3 is called as I, immunogenic or immune complex response. Type 4 is called as D, delayed hypersensitivity. A, C, I, D, acid is mnemonic for type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. A stands for allergy. C, cytotoxic. I, immune complex. D, delayed or cell mediated. Now, this is a cytotoxic kind of hyper hypersensitivity. So erythroblastosis fetalis belongs to type 2 kind of uh, uh, hypersensitivity. Now the last question, antigenic determinants are, options given are haptens, epitopes, paratopes, antibody. Now understand this one. See antigen is what causes immune reaction. Low molecular weight molecules are low molecular weight anti antigens are known as haptens. As such, they cannot cause immune responses because their molecular weight is low. So, haptens is not. Now, the next one, epitope. Now, understand this one. If this is an antigen, on the surface antigen, there are certain molecular patterns are there. So, body identifies this one and antibodies goes and binds with this particular molecular pattern. The molecular pattern which is, which is present on the antigen is called as antigenic determinant. Technically, it is known as epitope. So, to this, an antibody goes and binds. The portion which binds with this epitope of antibody is called as paratope. So on the antibody it is paratope, on the antigen it is epitope. So antigenic determinant means epitope. So this is about immunological questions. All the best.